hi everyone nice to meet you this is today is going to be a bit complex video uh, we are going to create a custom mediator custom mediator can be both a class mediator or a uh, might choose the factory and the serializer in this first tutorial let's see how to create a class mediator custom mediator class custom mediator so uh, here is my interview I'm going to create a new Mayon project so I create a new Mayon project okay I'm sorry let's specify a group ID Okay, I will specify the same name in both cases. So I'll give the project a name sample mediate. Okay. One and I will say finish. The last way I want this to open, so I will open in this window. So what I am going to do is teach you how to create a sample mediator based on this article. This, this I will share with you the link. This article is a bit outdated, so I will be showing you how to create the custom mediator in EI, newer version of EI. Uh, this is for ESP so we'll see how to do it for EI and I will be using this documentation we are uh, we are yeah, it's documented how to create a class me cache media class mediator but uh, it's uh, it's also a bit outdated so I will show you how to be uh, updated so first uh, let's create use I, I have created the pump so I will copy this part okay let's see. Um. so I'll just go ahead and copy this part see I'm sorry that uh, this mouse thing so I will go ahead and copy this part uh, from starting from the repositories and I will paste it here sorry about it I paste it here and I will start changing things a bit so here I have this Maven compiler plugin version 1.2.2 that's quite outdated. So I'll change this to 1.7 that's, uh, that's the version of the carbon mediation WSO2 carbon mediation so I'll change this to 1.7 and I'll go to Carbon Mediation Repository of WSO. I'm sorry, Carbon Mediation. There, yeah, I will go to the pom.xml file and I will search for a compiler plugin. Uh, so they, this is the latest version they are using so I'll copy that and paste it here and I'll change this name bundle name to my repo name Uh, 
I change this also. Okay. And now we have to change this one. How do you do that? For that, I will go to product DI repository of WSO2. Wait. Sorry. Go to the product EI repository. The latest version of EI I am using currently is WSO to EI 6.1.1. So I'll go to these tags and select version 6.1.1. And here you can see the perm.xml and you can go to you can search for synapse.version sorry about it and I search for the synapse version and I find this here. Okay. So I'll go come here and paste it here. That's not over. I have to now build that synapse version that same synapse version locally. So I'll go to synapse WSO to synapse. Even I will either fork this and then clone or just clone from here. I'll go to my terminal and get whatever folder where I want to clone and I'll clone this repo or a fork of it. Okay, I'll clone it. I have already a copy of this and so I won't be wasting my time cloning it. I'm sorry. There you are, I will go to the master and I will call git fetch minus minus all. Okay. This will fetch all the branches and tags in the master. So I will check git. Tag. Now I want this to build what was the tag we copied it was version 15 I need to build this version yeah we'll just go ahead and get check out tags and go to that version okay I'm sorry, it should be tags. So I'll mark it as tags. And I go to that branch here. So I will build it. Let's, okay. Can we skip the test if we want? let's not uh, wait for it to finish building meanwhile let's see how to create the mediator so i will go to this java folder and create a new package and i will say the package name would be og dot i'm sorry we have a so I will press enter now. Now the class I am going to create would be this. So I will be sharing the code with you. We will just copy this code. I 
I'll create a, a new class called stock charge mediator and I will paste the code there sorry I have not copied that one I will copy it I will paste it here and I will create the new class and then I will just paste the class here if you are copying and pasting or whatever you should change your package name to the one you are using and you might be seeing this errors because uh, it's not yet built is still building okay still building so let's once it is built the errors will go away so let me show you the code to implement the class mediator you should either uh, extend this class or you should be you can uh, look at how to create a class mediator here either you should extend the extract mediator class or implement the mediator interface extending would be a lot easier because it it deals with all the internal details for you all you have to do is this override this mediate method so what this mediate is how this mediate is going to work is like this ah uh, let me show you okay uh this how we are going to call this mediator is we are going to call this mediator like this so we will be having a class name we'll mention this class name uh it should be org dot uh yeah the class is and we are going to uh, call this mediator so uh, once a message will come to the mediator if you want to know about a message contest i will you can view this website the link to which i will share with you uh, xm user guide and then here you can see the incoming message will be i'll show you the example of it the incoming message will be uh let me sh i'll show you how to uh, send messages to this mediator before that i'll show the incoming message to this mediator would look like this uh, it will look like this so there is uh, this xml body coming to our mediator so we are going to extract some details from this xml body so uh, here i'm in this uh, example we are got getting the body and we are getting the first element uh, what would that be and body that would be the body so we extract the first element and then we get um, symbol element that would be this and then we will be getting the last element so that's the price so we get this uh, last element and then we get the text of the symbol element and then we get the text of the last element and we have this map called search charges uh, which takes a string and a double and we we 
have put values to that and this will get the value from the search edges map and uh, create a new price so what are these init and destroy functions we are implementing this uh, interface called manage cycle so uh, when, uh, when you implement the interface whenever you call init uh, whatever you write inside in it it will be called before the mediator starts and what you call inside destroyed it will be called before you uh, at the end of the mediation flow so this will be initialized at the beginning and destroyed at the end so uh, we can this if you this default percentage is set as a as a um, as a variable and this can it has a getter and setter methods uh, getter and setter methods if if the getter and setter methods are available you can pass the va default value to this as um, as a per property in the mediator if you know ws auto mediators so uh, now we have created this let's see if, if the uh, synapse have built so we'll just go ahead and build this one It will build successfully. Uh, maybe the errors uh, are the errors are because we have changed this version. So I'll go again to the carbon mediation. Uh, core base and see what is the version of the Maven bundle plugin. It is 2.3.5. So I'll copy that and I'll change this version so now I guess the rest okay I will enable auto import okay good. so the rest goes away okay you can build it again So now now we have built this one. Let me show you. Uh, this 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 will be the uh, jar created mm, to start on. Okay, I will delete this old EI pack and I will unpack the another one so that uh, we'll be working on a fresh pack and then I will just. Uh, go to my terminal and I will just uh, go to CD programs and WSR to AI six one 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 and then I'll go to the samples and to the axis to serve okay. uh, uh, to, I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, run the sample stock court uh, proxy mediator but stock code proxy so uh hey i'll send you the links to this one i you can use uh find this uh uh using the sample client and using the samples here setting up the instruction for samples and you can 
uh, see how to run sample so I won't be going into much details but I'll show you how to run one so I go to go back to the terminal and so while done this uh, access to server mm. okay uh, let's just run that one and then I'll go to CDSRC and I will go to stock code proxy simple stock code service and I will build it and okay did you build it mm. okay am I doing anything wrong so Okay, I am right. You have to build run and from here, so I run and so uh, you can see this uh, deploy in the simple stock code service double AR. So it doesn't now. I'll go to CD double dot double dot double dot. Okay, I'll go to the axis two client okay uh, let's leave it that way and then I'll start the integration server okay for that I'll go to cd double dot dot double dot bin and I'll start the integration server now I have started the integration server I will go to the server on my it won't start it's not yet started so I'll be sharing this proxy that I'm going to create uh, before I'm um, sorry uh, before starting the server I'll shut down the server before starting the server uh, you need to uh, go to this server this is the server that we are going to start you can go to the lib folder and drop this uh, new jar we created so I created this jar so I'll copy it here and paste it here and then you should start the server so we'll go ahead and start now so after starting I'm going to create a proxy service so here I, I will uh, give you the proxy so here I have the proxy you can see I'll be deploying it in the IE. so what you see here is I'm um, calling this class mediator and I'm setting the default percentage value to 10 so I have this uh, published uh, BSDL so I'm going to deploy this proxy in the EI so I'll copy this proxy and I will go to WSOT EI 6.1.1 and repository deployment server synapse config and default I'll go to proxy services before I paste it here let me see whether the server has started so the server has started I'll press some enter here and then I'll paste the proxy here so the process would load in the server okay 
the proxy loaded so the now the proxy is deployed we can go there and see if we want uh, let me sign in the proxy will be here so it's here so let me try this so uh, to try this one you can see uh, writing sorry uh, where is it samples so oh, let's see let me see it so you can use in the sample client so you can see how to try out a proxy service so the URL of this proxy service would be this uh, this Riafa thing pad all these things is localhost or I'll be using the localhost so So let me show you I try this once after pausing the video. So this is the command I have got to the sample says this to client. I'm going to call this proxy service and see if I'm with this symbol. So I will click and so I get this IBM and I'm getting this price. Uh, that's if you see debug you can see that a class mediator gets called and we i will see uh, change this to something ftg the sample that's not there uh, in the stuck out uh, let's see what happens so ftg comes here and the price comes here so uh abc So we get it so uh, the proxy service is working the class mediate is working uh, you can try this out and you can try your different use cases this is uh, one of the examples uh, to get things working uh, this is the article that i referred sorry this is the article i referred so um, this is a bit oil was very really useful so you can watch this video in combination with the article and you'll find it useful I uh, share with you all the code and the uh, links so that uh, you can do it on your own thank you for watching